This is a yo-yo. I don't know how to use yo-yo. I'm not sure why this is in here. Oh, yo, 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 hit me with the Addy. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense, but. Yo, 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 it's the Beach Boy Young Pinch. I'm here with Hip Hop DX, and this is the Thought Box. Oh, wow. Blennington Beach Boys days. Yo, you see this right here? Look at this cover. Look at those cornrows going crazy. That was before Post Malone did that too, by the way. So yeah, that's the old school, that's the old school Beach Boys right there, like fresh out of high school. It's wild. When did you get the cornrows? The summer going into senior year, I was like working with this producer from LA. He was like, you should do this, you should wear this, Versace chain, da da da. da. And I was like, like 17 or 18, I was, I was 17 at the time because I, I remember they were trying to get me in a situation, but like I was 17, so I couldn't even do nothing. I was like, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about, you know, like, oh, for sure. And I listened to him and I tried it out for like two months and then I was like, nah, this is corny and I stopped doing it. And I was like, that was the end of it. Soldier Boy, tell him. Yo, I have a, a feature from Soldier Boy somewhere on the internet floating around and yeah, you should listen to it. It's a great song. But shout out to Soldier Boy for like laying the foundation for all these artists to brand themselves on the internet and just ride his wave completely. Yeah, we found the song. Yeah. Like, he did. Well, it's good. It's a pretty good song. It's actually a really good song. What, what was, how did it, how, what's it called? It's like definitely Versace Flow. Knock. Yeah. Knock. I think it's like something knock. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that song's hard though. We were, yeah, I was. So actually back to like the the cornrows and the, the, the Versace chain, <laughs> that producer, my boy Teddy Knock, one of my, shout out to Teddy Knock, one of my like good friends today, like mentor, like, you know, it was a crazy time for all of us back then. He had been close with Soldier Boy and he knew someone in his camp and he was like, yo, like I got these kids, we're trying to do like, we're trying to get you on a feature. He was like, oh, like $10,000 or something like that. And I'm like, ah, about like two. <laughs> so, all right, for sure, I'll do it. And the next thing you know, I had a Soldier Boy feature, and I'm like going around in high school, like check out my song with Soldier Boy. Like, yeah, I wish I remember what it was called, but yeah, knock knock, knock knock. This is a yo-yo. I don't know how to use yo-yo. I'm not sure why this is in here. Oh, yo yo yo, hit me with the Addy. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But yo yo yo. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't play with yo-yos as a kid, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, shout out to all the kids who went professional with yo-yoing in their life. I hope it worked out for you. Today, I'm standing on TED stage with the yo-yo in front of you. Uh-uh, the Marina Vikings, <laughs> my high school... Um, mascot or whatever you want to call it was a Viking, so... Marina Vikings, probably one of the worst sports teams slash sports high schools in Orange County, but hey, we still represent. Do you know who the mascot was? Oh, the dude? No, no, no. I was too cool for all that. No, I'm just kidding. I was just too to myself, you know? I wasn't like, I let the jocks and the sports kids do their thing and everyone else be in their world. And then anyone that like found their way into my world in any way, whether it be at a party or wherever, like, I would just be like, I would be cool with them. But I would never, like, go into other people's worlds, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna say, I can do it! Are they asleep? Right here. This reminds me of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of my favorite bands, for sure. I'm not gonna eat this, because it'll probably burn my mouth. What's your favorite That's Chili cool. Peppers song? That's a hard question. I like Scar Tissue and I like Other Side. I like, I don't know, that's too hard. There's too many good ones. Let's see what else we got here. Who really gonna be there when no one else is? You. Facts. You wanna read that over? Boom. <laughs> don't forget it. You feel me? If you ever are looking for other people to help you and guide you in the right direction in your life, that's cool, but make sure you have yourself first because nobody wants anything better for you than what you want for yourself. Have you ever seen the show You on Netflix? Uh, is that the new one? Yeah. With the guy that's all crazy and like yeah. kills people? Yeah, I've had some tricks made me watch that, but <laughs> it's a little weird. Not my. Have you ever had any like situations like that? 
stalking you. Oh, like the opposite role of yeah. it? Sometimes it'd be like, oh, I saw you with so-and-so here. And I'll be like, what the? I didn't even post about that. <laughs> Tell anyone about that. Like, you must have been there, like, in person and see me. Yeah, so kind of. Not that crazy, though. You've got a stalker. And then this right here. This is a great show. Tina, I know like three girls in real life that remind me of Tina, so she's crazy. Who's your favorite character? Tina, for sure. She's just, she's a trip. Mom, mm -hmm. Black Bear, uh, Black Bear. This reminds me of one of my good friends, Black Bear, Bear Trap Sound, and this Rolex because he gifted it to me, so shout out to Black Bear. I've known him for just about as long as I started blowing up, he like was like the first big artist to reach out to me, and he like um, he remixed Rock with Us, and then like we met, built a relationship. He brought me on tour. Was the first person who brought me on a tour. Um, fast forward, all the way down to now, and I just got out of this label situation with Columbia, and I was deciding who I wanted to have like distribute the album, and um, who better than my boy Black Bear, you know? So. I let Black Bear distribute the album through Bear Trap. So Bear Trap sounds back to the beach out now. Go get it. Um, let's see. Another tweet. Could have swore I said I was going to blow up like two years ago. In 2014. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three years later, I actually blew up. So if you ever think that your timing is better than God's timing, then you're wrong. And just be patient. Keep doing your thing. This looks like weed. This makes me think about smoking the backwood <laughs> and probably gonna do that right after this. So thanks for the week. <laughs> free Bobby, free Bobby Schmurda. Yo, I saw Bobby Schmurda at the observatory um, before he went to jail. And it was probably one of the most craziest performances I've ever seen. Just like his energy, like pretending to like get shot on stage. It was crazy. But yeah, free Bobby. He's getting out soon. When he gets out, make sure you get tickets to his concert, support him. That's awesome. Well, you were supposed to open for him once, right? Yeah, I think so. And then he like didn't show up. Or I don't know, I think I did open for him and that was the show mm -hmm. that I'm talking about, probably. I don't know, I've opened for so many people. Like high school was like uh, an era of pre-sale tickets. So I would pre-sale tickets to like open for people at shows and like the observatory was just my stomping ground. Like I've done shows with Wu-Tang to like modern day like young thug like and everyone in between that come up era you know what i'm saying like i've done shows for everybody at the observatory and they probably don't even know it smiley face wink emoji i'm sure most of you guys know the vibes um this was summer 2019 in an emoji and every summer from now on if you haven't heard it wink emoji out now my brother gashi go rock that listen to it The office. This dude's pretty, it's pretty trippy. It looks like he's flaming the handle of a door. Last week I gave a fire safety talk and nobody paid any attention. It's my own fault for using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is boring. So maybe this looks like the door to the studio that I'm working in because there's just so much flame in there that if you <laughs> touch the handle, you'll burn your hand. So let's see, last but not least, what do we got? Wow, this is so perfect to be the last one. Crenshaw, Nipsey Hussle, one of my biggest inspirations in high school, probably getting me through high school, just to like have the mindset that I did and be self-made and like be an independent music artist and like do my thing still to this day. Um, I have all money and no money out tatted on my shins. I'm not gonna like show you because it's just too much, but like, yeah. Nipsey Hussle means a lot to me, man. Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. And I think that's a great way to end this segment. The marathon continues. Did you like, when did this open? No, I did open up for him. Yeah, open up for Nipsey Hussle. Um, I got to say like four or five words to him. And I was like, yo, you helped me get through high school. Love you. And like, that's what's up. I don't even know if he said anything. He just nodded at me. But I remember we tried like the whole night. Like we went to like this like, I think it was like a weed store or something. Now like his DJ was doing some that before the show. Waited before the show, waited after the show, and finally, like, backstage, I got to be able to say something as he was leaving. But, yeah, no, that was definitely one of the highlights of my pre-sale days, for sure, was opening for Nipsey. Back to the Beach, out now. Go stream it on all platforms. Much love to all of y'all. Beach Boy taking over 2020. Yeah, that was fun.
Dot box. Dot box. <laughs>